My name is Agnes Sitai. I'm a cattle farmer in the Friede district. Uh, we started farming in 2013 with my late husband, Bethuel Setai. Unfortunately, he passed on in 2015 and I continued farming. We farm on a, a farm list from the government uh, and uh, we chose to farm with cattle because we are slowing down, retiring into farming. Uh, we have uh, Angus Head and Bonsmara now, and what we we were looking for was a place that was best in cattle farming, and we uh, lucky to uh, acquire that. Um, what we do, in addition to producing the, the winner calves and uh, um, going to auctions and all, we make sure that we take care of our livestock. By profession, I'm a medical doctor, so I concentrate on animal farm. I'm, I'm in my animal health, and I make sure that we go through all the aspects. And the cows are beautiful. They, 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 um, you look after them, they'll look after you. Uh, we have, uh, we provide employment on the, in the area, I have uh, hard-working farm workers. They, uh, they are um, part of the bigger family. And uh, we are supported by the government wholeheartedly, especially in Tabungfutsanyana, which is endowed with uh, animal wealth. And uh, we have some associations like AFASA, where we support each other. And in my particular case, NERPO, which is for uh, beef production. And we support each other among black farmers as well as even white farmers, our neighbors. And I promise if we all work together, we will get somewhere in South Africa. Um, presently, some of the challenges that we have had, like drought and uh, um, lack of funding, which is always the case, we told ourselves that this was not going to be an obstacle. If you can dream it, you can do it. I happen to have encountered this young dynamic uh, gentleman who had started what is called Life Stock Wealth. What a wonderful idea. Um, I contacted him. He also happened to have been very, very helpful. It's a small world. We knew each other. We didn't know in the past. I had seen a program on livestock wealth um, on television. It did not. It did not register much. And then I read about it on uh, on the Sunday paper. It meant a little bit. But then there was this photo where this um, director of uh, of livestock wealth was in Senegal, where he was. Uh, inspecting the the, the, the the farm. So because of the farm being in Senegal, it sort of hit a little bit nearer home. And I thought, I can call this person. So I called him, I introduced myself, um, and only to find that he was easy to talk with. And he encouraged me uh, to work with him. And last year, after a lot of persuasion, I, 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 I thought, let me take him on. And it was easier than, than I had thought. He was able to uh, help us with the f uh, finance, with the, our farms being the, our farm and uh, the, uh, the animals being collateral. So since then, we have been into this very, very healthy working relationship as far as uh, development is concerned, farming is concerned, um, mentoring, even just talking about business. I'm very pleased to work with him. Being able to, to, to raise that funding, I was able to get into improving some of the uh, farms, uh, equipment that I needed. I needed I, we were able to acquire second-hand uh, tractor, the, the fire equipment, um, uh, many other things that we, we needed on the farm, including 
one of the latest things that we had, we didn't have our, our own cattle handling facilities, loading facilities, we were able to build that. And then we were also able to venture into, into sheep. All of that we were able to do with the help from Livestock Wealth. Uh, for everyone, women, youth especially, uh, because we are an older generation, please let's all work together to make sure that there's a smooth um, succession plan among ourselves. Agriculture and farming is the future. Agriculture is a science. Like somebody said, it's a science, it's business, and in our circumstances in South Africa, it's also history. <laughs>